Hey devs and designers, how are you doing? Today I will show you how can you make your textures better in Unreal Engine 5. If you're ready, let's dive into it. Let's say you find a cool texture in the web, but be sure that there is no license for it, or if there's a license, just purchase it. But if you find any free texture, it doesn't have to be wood, it can be anything. But when you put that, when you download that, texture and you put it inside inside in the Unreal Engine it doesn't look so good so I just downloaded a basic texture which is there's a lot of cranks and stuff inside it it's a wood texture but you don't know how to use it and when you put when you use this texture in a material you just get the texture and connect it to the base color and when you use this material inside of your scene, it doesn't look so good, right? It is pretty flat, it is shiny, which is what shouldn't be, and uh, it doesn't look 3D. It's look like a, a wrapped paper on the sphere. So how can we fix this problem? There's two ways you can make your textures better. One, a paid app that you can purchase from Steam or web. It's not so expensive, I will show you, but if you don't want to use it, I have also one free way that you can use it, and it's working pretty fine. So let's go with the first one. The first one I'm going to show you is Mind Text 2. Mind Text is a texture and normal map generation utility, and I like to use a lot, and I'm using some of my textures in the scene cinematics and sometimes in games because I think it's making a great job. By the way, don't forget, this is a beginner tutorial, so if you know some basics about materials and textures in general, you, it might not be the best solutions for you, but I'm you showing the simplest way possible to make your textures better. So, the prices is that is 20 bucks, maybe a bit a lot for you, I don't know, uh, it can change, this price, this price can change based on the country, I suppose. Uh, but I think it's a pretty useful tool. And if you just want to invest a couple bucks to your workflow, I think it can work so much better. So I will show you how it is working. When I downloaded MindText 2, as you see, the screen coming with that way, it gives you a three option, diffuse, hide, and normal. Maybe just find the normal map and you just want to make a, a texture from that. It's totally okay, but I'm just going to use a diffuse map right now and choose the texture you want, which is I downloaded a rotting wood texture. I'm just going to click open and it's starting to working and boom, it's already has a pretty good texture, but we can change a lot of parameters from there. What I'm going to do firstly, the texture preview size, I will make 2048 to 2048 after that let's see what we can do it's the normal map i'm going to use out of seam fix it's making seamless pretty good you can change the shape layers in here there's some soft blending as you see shape inversion and shape intensity I'm not going to play a lot. I'm just going to tweak settings a bit. You can see it's pretty easy UI. You can change your map settings in here. You can go to view and you can change the view of the texture. You can change the model. You can make a box. Cylinder, which is cylinder looks pretty good for this kind of wood texture, I believe. Teapot, which is a classic for every kind of pretty object as you know or just uh, a, a smooth box you can flip the UVs, invert faces and stuff and you can match it then what i'm going to do i'm going to export those maps so what should i do okay i just changed some settings and my texture is pretty much ready it's not the goodest shape but it's it will work so much better 
than the only the texture we used in the Unreal Engine at first video. By the way, if you like my content, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. It's just helping me a lot. So you can go to map export settings and you can choose one of which maps you will export. When we use, it just exported uh, a diffuse, normal, specular, loss, roughness, and ambient occlusion maps, which can help a lot. So let's import those to Unreal Engine and let's see what we can do with it. And here, I'm just going to import all those maps. Okay. As you see, we all, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a material and I'm just going to say mind packs to that. Let's open it. Okay, right side is our new sphere, which is I'm going to replace with our new material. Okay, I just tweaked the settings a bit and I made the texture way better. It was a bit so much uh, saturated, but right now it's looking way more good. And as you see, now our texture has a lot of depth with our normal map. Uh, it is not shiny because we changed the roughness and metallic parameters and also we added some ambient occlusion oh i didn't add ambient occlusion add it save it we added some specular map and we still using the base texture and with that way our texture is looking way better You can tweak all of the settings from here. It's okay. What do you, what I did just I just import the old textures from Mindtext 2 and I just use them with so basic way in Unreal Material. Uh, I, for example, if you want it has a more depth, you can just get the normal map and just multiply. It, I don't know like five to show you how much it can change as you see it is giving a more depth to the texture for example and now we can move to the free version of make your textures better which is we're going to use Photoshop I just opened my Photoshop and what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get my texture and then just drag and drop. And here we have our texture. So what we will do, first I will go to filter, 3D and generate normal map. And Photoshop is doing the work for us and it's creating a normal map for our texture. You can change some settings like some blur maybe. This, if you're making a more stylized, your normals can be more blurred because you don't have any so hard shapes in your model. You can change the detail scale from there you Can add more detail and stuff and i'm just going to click okay and now we have our normal map so you can export this as a png then we can move then we can continue to work on it i just go back to my texture and i'm just going to go come filter 3d and hide map Instead of normal map, you can make height map too. What it can work, it is basically creating a map from grayscale to white, black, 
And for example, we're using this for terrain. So if you have a photo that's some like bird eye, an island or any geographical places, you can create your own textures layer with that way. I'm not going to use hide map, bump map in the Unreal for my texture, but I just want to show you that you can use in here too. Or maybe you can get your hide map and you can paint it inside of the Photoshop so you can tweak some settings a bit. What I'm going to do else, I'm just going to go back to my normal texture. I will create also a roughness map. So I'm just going to copy the layer and I will add a filter, which is hue and saturation, just saturation to zero, lightness somewhere around here. So it is not the best one, but it might work. So let's export all of those to Unreal and let's see how they're working. Okay, so I imported my textures inside of the Unreal. By the way, with using Photoshop, you can create more than just uh, a normal map and hide map or roughness. You can actually create tons of other maps, which is using tools inside in the Photoshop, which is, I'm not so expert about Photoshop, so I just use show the basic way how you can make your textures better. But if you want to learn more, maybe I can make a video about how you can use Photoshop to make a great textures. So what did I do? I just got my normal diffuse uh, map, the normal texture to base color. I just zero the metallic because it's not a meta metallic uh, texture. As you can see, I just got this some kind of height roughness map and I just put this into specular and roughness. And I also used my normal map as a normal and I made the 0.6 to ambient occlusion to for the a little crust on the table. So I'm just going to multiply my my normal map a bit. Okay, I think it's pretty good. Let's see how Photoshop is looked like. Creating it. Another one. Another one. Two. Give the Photoshop in here. Well, Photoshop doesn't look like bad at all. I think it's looking way better than the only texture using way. So as you can see, with still like in Photoshop, you can tweak some saturation settings, so you can make different colors, or uh, you can just don't use ambient occlusion. You you don't have to use anything. Like you can tweak every settings in here and Photoshop or in Mind Text too, so you can make your textures looks like as you want. So in this video, I showed you a little tip that. You can make your textures better. If you like the video, please like it and subscribe to the channel. I'm reading all of your comments and it's pretty important for me. And if you have more tips about how you can make your textures better, please write a comment down below too. Until the next video, see you all. I hope you're doing great works.